Season's greetings from the USS Yorktown. I am Mac Burdett, Executive Director of Patriots Point Naval and Maritime Museum. As Christmas approached 50 years ago, Americans had little reason for hope or joy. We were mired in a seemingly endless, brutal war in Southeast Asia that was dividing our nation with violent protest in cities and on college campuses from one coast to the other. The long, simmering questions on civil rights and equal justice for all of our citizens were at a boiling point following the assassination of civil rights leader Martin Luther King. On the world scene, it was the United States and her allies in a tense, never-ending showdown with the Soviet Union where nuclear confrontation seemed inevitable. And yet, 50 years ago on Christmas Eve, as one of our mightiest warships, the USS Yorktown, plowed through the vast Pacific Ocean on a historic mission of peace and hope, three intrepid American astronauts, Jim Lovell, Frank Borman, and Bill Anders, orbited the moon, another first for man. These three astronaut heroes were preparing to surprise the world and their colleagues at NASA with a Christmas Eve communication and what they hoped would serve as a message of healing to a fractured world. The staff and the volunteers at Patriots Point hope that you will enjoy the recreation of a very special historic event that occurred 50 years ago this Christmas. We especially appreciate the participation of a true American hero, Captain Jim Lovell, of Apollo 8 and Apollo 13. Here we have ignition sequence start. Four, three, two, one, zero. We have lift off. Man, perhaps on the way to the moon. You heard the report from Mission Control in Houston. The speed is almost perfect. The flight to the moon will take two and a half days. Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, and Ed Anders taking into orbit the Apollo 8 spacecraft and uh, plan to take that spacecraft to the moon and back during this Christmas week. A writer for a movie couldn't do a better job because uh, it turns out that we're orbiting the moon on Christmas Eve. Then a Christmas Eve message the world could not forget. Welcome to the moon, Thank you. Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And so it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heaven gather into one place and let the dry land appear. And so it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called the sea. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit, fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And then from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth.